Hi, this is Mike Carraway. Um, welcome to my backyard. Um, it's a great time of the year. In fact, this time of the year always makes me think about making a couple of batches of hard apple cider or some pear wine or all the great fruit wines that there are. <clears throat> In case you don't know who I am, I've written several books on, on making your own wine at home, uh, the complete illustrated guide to homemade wine, and my free book that, that is pretty popular around the world. Um, and also a couple other books like on uh, titration, determining and controlling acid content in your wine. So the reason I'm making this video is uh, we have had a lot of requests, a lot of requests for a, some kind of home video winemaking course. And before I tell you about that, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about uh, my history and a little bit about what I've done when it comes to making wine. Why don't you follow me this way? Kind of nice, like I said, this time of year, is it? Uh, first of all, let me tell you this. I have. Uh, I'm going to show you some photos at the end of this video. Uh, I've traveled to Greece, uh, checked out uh, some of the uh, winemaking things that they do in Greece. I, I've been to Italy and checked out their vineyards. We've been to uh, uh, many vineyards in California. Uh, you know, we've also looked at some some local uh, people that do more more home grown type or homemade type winemaking uh, in Greece and Crete and Italy. Uh, so we pretty much kind of went around the world just to see how all this was done before I ever wrote my first book on how to make wine. So uh, just to kind of give you an idea. Uh, uh, the first time I made it, I didn't know what I was doing. But after a while, and with a lot of study and, and effort, you know, I was able to put, uh, now I'm able to put together some really good stuff. In fact, uh, if you mix it up right and make it right and you start your must off right, what you can actually do is end up with a wine that tastes better than $50 a bottle of wine, but you can make it with store-bought ingredients, which is, to me, that's kind of amazing. And you can end up spending about a buck, buck fifty uh, per bottle. So, uh, back to that home video course. Uh, what we have sat down and, and done is mapped out the 12 essential things that you have to know how to do. And, and this is not just a regular run-of-the-mill video course. This video course covers, uh, it'll start at sterilization and the proper equipment, but then it'll go through, all the way through, uh, acid balancing, acid testing, uh, sulfur dioxide titration. It'll go through all of the more complex steps that a lot of, uh, well, real vineyard winemaking quality wines that a lot of those type of people will do in order to get their wine uh, product to the shelf in your grocery store or to your wine shop. So we're going to actually go through those things, like I said, the, the, the acid testing, the titration, the sulfur dioxide, and we'll also cover all the chemicals, uh, the clearing agents, everything will be shown in video exactly step by step how to do it. Now, this is not ready to go yet. Uh, we just started working on video number four. Uh, mo most of these videos are going to be around 15 to 40 minutes long. So, uh, obviously some of them are a little, a little shorter, but some of them require just a lot more time to go through the material. So anyway, we're going to have this ready around, it looks, it's starting to look like around the first part of the new year. That will be 2009. Uh, I can't tell you exactly if it'll be January 1st or the 2nd, but I, I can tell you this, and I've already talked to my, my web hosting company, and based on the number of videos that we'll, we'll have, we'll have 12 of them, and uh, some other supporting material that we'll have, they pretty much told me that if we have more than 100 people looking at these videos at one time, it'll probably crash the server and everybody will lose access. So. Uh, once this home winemaking video course is ready to go, I'll be sure and let everybody know about it. In fact, if you want to be on the list to know when it's going to be ready and to get some little updates, there's a form right down here at the bottom of this video. You just put your first name and email in there, and I'll put you on the list, and we'll send you updates and let you know how close we are to releasing this 12-part uh, home winemaking video. So until then, uh, 
check out some of these pictures. Uh, by the way, because of that server thing, we can only limit this uh, offer to just the first hundred people that get in. And of course, it's not going to be ready to go until uh, probably, like I said, around uh, the first of the year. If we get it ready a little earlier, I'll let you know by email. Uh, so, like I said before, check out some of these pictures. Again, we traveled to Crete, to Greece, uh, to Turkey, all of the ancient winemaking regions. Uh, people have been making wines for the last 8,000 years. It's, it's really amazing when you start looking at the history of it. Uh, but people have been winemaking, making their own wine for 8,000 years or more. So anyway, uh, enjoy the pictures right at the end of this. And uh, be sure and put in your name and email address so you'll get future updates about our 12-part home winemaking video.